What's up guys, Blake and Jake here with Wilderness is Bliss and we are cooking the best camping breakfast today. That is going to be a sweet potato hash that includes sweet potatoes, onions, peppers, bacon, uh, corned beef hash, and uh, maybe even some cheese and tortillas if you're up for it. So let's get started by cooking some bacon so we can cook everything else in that. Hot bacon. Round two. All right, we don't need all this bacon grease, so I'm gonna pour some of this off before we move on to the sweet potatoes, peppers, and onions. All right, we'll probably use that. Uh, not quite. All right, it's time to move on to the sweet potatoes, onions, and peppers. We prep these at home, which is definitely the way to go because it can be a real pain to try and chop all this stuff up with the limited supplies you're gonna have at the campsite. Lots of sweet potatoes. Make this a hearty one. No. We won't let that happen again. Yeah, we might. It's time to apologize to you guys. I've been perpetuating a very common mistake. These are yams. I call them sweet potatoes. Almost everyone does it. I think it's mostly because of people eating sweet potato fries, which are orange. So they associate it with being a sweet potato. But this is a yam. I'll try not to let that happen again. You can really speed up this process if you just go ahead and cover this. You gotta continue to stir it periodically so you don't end up burning the bottom. But covering it will definitely speed up the process. Whether you're at home cooking this, which I do all the time, or out on the camp. Things are looking pretty good here. In a minute we're gonna go ahead and put on the eggs. We're cooking for four today. So we've got eight eggs we're about to put on the fire. I'm gonna uncover this, put the eggs on top of the hash, and then uh, recover it. Ooh, that looks good. One yolk survived. Spread this out so we don't burn the eggs. Looking good. Oh, hit that one way too hard, and as I suspected, broke it. Better. Seven for eight, I'll take it. And then we'll cover, cover this so it can have that 360 heat and cook everything evenly and even a little bit faster. We almost forgot about the corned beef, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, Throw this on the side of the grill. Luckily, they're thin slices. I feel like they'll cook up real fast. Can't and forget that corned beef. You can't forget that. We don't want the bark on the side of the corned beef. One of the <laughs> potential pitfalls of cooking while you camp. Hey, 
eggs are done. Look at that yummy goodness. Ooh wee. Yummy. Corn beef's done. That looks really good. I'm glad we didn't forget that. Yeah. I've never cooked corned beef. Especially not like this. Oh, I can't leave these little good bites. Time to eat. I'm going to go ahead and serve up two of these eggs with the hash beneath it. And then I'll put it in my tortilla and put some bacon and some corned beef on top. But first, let's see how these eggs turned out. I hope that we didn't overcook them. Oh, that turned out just fine. Perfect. There we go. Time to break up some bacon and throw in some corned beef. Just enough crunch without burning it. Leave in some good chewy stuff. Man, this is gonna be good. Okay. And then mix in some of this goodness. And in case you're wondering, yes, I just washed my hands. Might not look like it because of my nails, but we've been out here for a little while. In case you're wondering, yes, that was my hand that was getting in the shot. <laughs> Okay, and that does it. One of my favorite meals to cook, whether I'm at home or camping, uh, in large part because it's such a versatile meal. If I don't want to eat any meat, you know, I can leave that out. If I want to make it fully vegan, I can obviously not cook it with bacon grease, and I can use some olive oil. A couple tablespoons on the stove, and you're good to go. And uh, we got some cheese out here today. I'm not going to go ahead and use it, but... Uh, some people out here will, and uh, it makes the meal all the better. So let's wrap this puppy up and give it a try. This tortilla is a little on the dry side. Let's see if it can hold up. Oh, looks like it did. There we go. Hmm. We've all now begun to enjoy these uh, sweet potato hash burritos, and uh, Bliss has made it extremely clear that she's interested in a burrito so we're gonna discuss that and see if we decide to roll with it thanks for watching and i hope you get a chance to cook this either at home or out at camp and uh enjoy it as much as i do see you next time thanks for watching see you next time